I'm being recorded today, so this is, we're going to use the mic. Um, so for those of you who are going to be new to Nash, I'm going to be the person that you can come and visit with if you have anything that you need related to student driving or parking at Nash. You being here, like I said, means that you have done every single thing that we've asked of you, and that means the world to us. I appreciate it so much that you've checked your email, you completed the registration, you showed up on time, you're engaged, you're ready to roll. All right? So our presentation today, as I take a look at our agenda, we'll do quick welcome and introductions. We will, um, I want to introduce Dr. Darter, our head principal, momentarily to share a few words with you. We'll review this presentation, about 30 minutes, some really important information, and then we will all head out to the cafeteria where we'll have a team of staff members set up where you guys will turn in your checks, we will confirm your registration, and then you'll get your yellow parking tag, okay? So you should be out of here in about 45 to 50 minutes. All that we ask is your attention today. Be polite, be respectful of what you guys are already doing. So before I get going with the presentation, I want to turn it over to our head principal, Dr. Durda, to share a few words. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Um, as, as Mr. Salapek said, this morning is the first morning since June 2nd that Nash feels like a school again, and it is the reason why we are here. So we know that you guys got up early on, what is it, June 20th, July 20th. Uh, very important information. Obviously, your safety, we're going to share with you guys, is, is what's most important to us. But we cannot wait for the upcoming school year. The good news is you still have a month and one day until the first day of school, which is August 21st. For the seniors, how many seniors do we have here this morning? Senior year. So it'll be the last first day that you will have as a North Allegheny student on Monday, August 21st. Juniors, how many juniors here? Welcome to Nash. We cannot wait for you to join our school community and our family here at the Senior High School. Thank you for being here this morning. We cannot wait for an unbelievable school year. Enjoy the rest of your summer, and I'm going to turn things back over. Oh, before I do that, thank you. So we said safety is our highest priority, but there really are two things, two components of that, that is my expectation as the principal at Nash, Mr. Selipek, in conjunction with me and our entire Nash staff. So for our seniors, you guys heard this message last year. What's most important to us is not that you see that this message. It's that you feel it, and you know it, and you live it. So people say, at Nash, you finally arrived at Nash, at the big house, at the, what you've been working for your entire academic career at North Allegheny. So the first expectation that we will have for ourselves, for our teachers, for our staff, and for each one of you, is that we're going to deeply love and care for one another. The second thing is that we're going to relentlessly pursue excellence in all that we do. I don't care if it's the attention that you guys provide Mr. Sal as he's going over safe driving information, if it's the soccer practice that you're heading to to train to compete for another Whipple title next season, if it's in your pre-calculus class. You're going to have people that are going to love you, that are going to care for you, that are going to support you, and you're going to bring the best versions of yourself each and every day. And as you do that, we're going to build together the best possible school and school year that you can imagine. We cannot wait for you guys to return August 21st. Thank you for being on time. We'll get you guys out of here in about 40, 45 minutes. Enjoy the presentation this morning. Thanks, Mr. Sal. Thank you, Dr. Durda. Can we give a round of applause, please? All right. I could actually do this entire 35-minute presentation with one slide. Take a minute and read that again.
That's why we're here. This presentation didn't exist prior to last year. We've had student motor vehicle accidents at Nash on Route 19, on the way to school, on the way home from school, on the way to work. It literally is one of the things in, like, in your gut, in your stomach as an adult when we see you guys that we worry about 24-7. Student drivers, okay? It is such an awesome thing that you get to experience. It's such an awesome privilege that you get to have as young adults. It brings a whole new world to you. While at the same time, it is very dangerous. It requires an unbelievable amount of responsibility, of respect, and of true focus and attention to be safe. And that's what we want for you. This presentation, your experience today, is because we love and care about you, and we want to be great in how we prepare you to manage and handle all the different life experiences and situations that you're going to come across as a student at North Allegheny. We care about you when you're off campus in your car, all right? All that I ask today is your phones are away and we just have your genuine attention. And like I said earlier, I already feel it, I already see it. All right, so I appreciate that. You might sit there today and be like, why is this guy all into this? Why is he so passionate about this? This is like common sense stuff. I would say good. You should feel that way. A lot of what I'm going to talk about is what we would do, like common sense types of things, but they're good reminders. We had fewer motor vehicle accidents last year than any year prior in the years that we've evaluated at NASH because we started to do things differently in how we support you guys. So I'm not up here just giving you a speech or my theory. I'm giving you something that works, all right? General expectations. This is what you're going to hear from your mom or dad, your parents, guardians, from any principal, any teacher, any adult that already drives a vehicle, these types of things. Buckle your seatbelt, be respectful, be accountable, all right? Be patient. We have 650, well, by November, we'll have 650 student drivers coming on campus and off campus in about a 20 to 30 minute window of time. That is craziness. Right? All at one time, everyone's in a hurry, everyone's either half asleep in the morning or super excited to get wherever you're going in the afternoon. You know, it creates an environment where there's a lot going on. Your patience, your respect for each other is critical. All right? If we take turns in the parking lot, something as simple as what you learn in kindergarten, take turns, you get off campus 20 minutes faster than if we don't take turns and we cut each other off and we're not very nice to each other. All right? There's signage all over campus. Some of those signs have been new and updated, which is super nice. They're bright, they're visible. We ask that you take a look at those signs. We follow those at all times. There might be little things that do happen. When you have this many drivers on campus, a little bump here and there, it happens, okay? It's a life experience that we're gonna work through with you and support you all the way through. It's gonna be something that you're gonna learn, okay? We don't want it to happen, but by the nature of what we have, sometimes it does happen. Texting and driving. Raise your hand if you've heard an adult talk to you about texting and driving before. Every hand in the room goes up, all right? Guys, just put your phones down. You have to. Put your phones down. Get wherever you're going safely. Then you can get back to life on communication and all of your friends and all of the good things. You have to put your phone down, right? When I see students leaving campus and they're already blasting the music, and they're already on their phone. It, it's that pit in your stomach that I want to, we have stopped students out on, on the driveway of, hey guys, mm -mm, turn it down, put the phone down, be safe, okay? We give those types of reminders, and it's important that you know and understand the why. The why is because we care, the why is because we want to keep you safe, all right? Slow down. We've done pretty good with this, all right? We've done pretty good over the last two years or so, of driving an appropriate speed on campus, all right? The speed limit signs are out there. Let's make sure we, uh, we, we follow those and we're gonna be safe. Driving at Nash is a privilege. Let me explain that a little bit. The school district provides you with transportation. Every single one of you actually has a bus stop that you can show up to in the morning. The bus is there at the same time every single day. You can rely on it, and it gets you here on time, and you would never be late if you rode the bus. Extenuating circumstances here and there. Okay? 
That's provided to you. Driving, which we know you love and is a good thing and we want for you, is a privilege. You cannot be late to school repeatedly as a student driver. All right? Your attendance at school matters. Your presence here matters. The expectation is that you're on time. So you see the school start time, first period. You got to be in the room by then. Some of you are going to push that all the way to the end and be hustling. That makes us nervous a little bit, right? Because when you're cruising in the morning to get here, if you're running late, that's when accidents happen. That's when safety is not the number one priority. Rushing would be. We don't want that. So we need to make sure that we're leaving home at an appropriate time for you, all right, considering that there is a lot of people coming to campus, considering that there is traffic at times, considering that you got to find a parking space, okay? The expectation is that you're on time. We don't want to be the bad guys and say, hey, Johnny, you've been late to school 10 times. you got to turn over your parking pass, and you either get dropped off or you ride the bus. We don't want to do that. If we would do it, it's because we care about you, and we want to get you here on time, okay? The yellow parking tag displayed here is what they actually look like. These are what you're going to be um, displaying in your vehicle. They must be displayed at all times. I get a very common question, Mr. Sal, what if I drive a different car tomorrow? Do I have to transfer my tag from my car to my mom's car that I'm driving? The answer is yes. Whatever car you're driving on campus, this has to be displayed from the rear view, or for, yeah, from the rear view mirror. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, we do periodic checks of the parking lot safety and security measure and precautions that we go through. We need to see these yellow tags hanging from everybody's rearview mirror. If there's not a tag hanging on there, you will likely be contacted by either myself or our school resource officer, um, Officer Yaney, to just, what's going on? Where's your tag? What's the deal? Okay, we need this displayed. Um, we're not making copies of these. Okay, they are formatted in a way that they're very difficult to copy. We don't need to be doing that. Each of you spending money to buy a parking pass at Nash, that money goes, does go back to you guys, by the way, all right, for different activities throughout the year. So we don't need to make copies of this and share it with somebody else, right, because that's not fair. All right, deep love and care, respect, be accountable, all of that type of stuff, that adult expectations are what we need from everybody here to make sure this process runs smoothly. All right, we'll get into the code of conduct in a little bit. This is actually taken earlier this morning, okay, what it should look like, displayed from the inside of your car, and what it should look like when we're cruising through the lot just to check and make sure we're all safe from the outside of the car. It is clearly visible, all right, that this is a student driver, the yellow tag and the number. You can see it, move on to the next car. Everybody needs to do this. We need to get better at this from where we were last year, okay? Questions on this part? Pretty simple. All right. Entering campus, this is the big topic. This topic is, is one of the driving factors for us organizing this presentation today. Um, exiting campus seems to be pretty smooth, pretty simple, pretty easy. Entering campus, there's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot more people on campus at that time of the day considering parent drop-off, all right? So we gotta spend a little bit more time on entering campus, AM arrival, and make sure we are clear and we really understand what this process looks like and how it works. One of the areas that we're gonna focus on, if you can picture in your mind, and I'll show you images of this out on Route 19, if you were heading north, if you were gonna travel past Nash in that direction, heading north like past the Ford dealership, okay, but you wanna enter Nash campus, there's a left-hand turn, as men, I'm sure all of you have made it at some point. That left-hand turn is an area of focus for us, we gotta pay attention to because there's some unique signage that's up from the, uh, from the red light there, the traffic signal, that you need to be aware of, all right? Because that is an area where we have had student motor vehicle accidents, both with students involved, with buses involved, and with community members, people out in the community driving through there have been involved as well. Officer Yaney, like I said earlier, our school resource officer, put together a video. He couldn't be here today. He's away on family vacation, uh, but you guys will get to meet him soon. Um, but he wanted to share a message with you guys, and it's focused in on the left-hand turn into Nash if you're traveling northbound on Route 19. So we'll take a minute, play this, and then I'll come back with you guys.
Every school day, nearly 700 student drivers enter and exit the campus. Student safety is our utmost priority and one of our biggest concerns regarding driving. One of the largest issues is the left turn into the main entrance from northbound Route 19 or Perry Highway. Please note that this turning lane does not always have a green arrow. While the green arrow gives drivers in that lane the right of way, the arrow soon turns to a green light. When the light turns green, the opposing southbound traffic at the intersection also sees a green light. If you attempt to turn into campus, when you see the green light, it is vitally important that you take note of the opposing traffic, as they too will have a green light. A single absent-minded mistake or an ill-advised decision to turn into traffic can have frightening results. If you're a driver, you are responsible for the safety of everyone in your vehicle, and you can affect the safety of everyone else on the road. Simple concepts such as taking your time and erring on the side of caution can prevent accidents and injury. Safety is one of the largest issues. Please note that this turning lane does not always have a green arrow. While the green arrow gives drivers in that lane the right of way, the arrow soon turns to a green. All right. I wish Officer Yaney was here today, but like I said, he couldn't be. He is a tremendous, tremendous resource for all of us, all right, with um, traffic, with driving, with resources, with, um, you know, tips and tricks of how to, you know, be a cautious driver, to be a safe driver. And him putting this video together really helps us. And I wanted to stop for a minute and, and make sure we highlight there's an, this, this light is the one that we're talking about. If that light shows a green arrow pointing towards Nash, that means you have the right of way to turn. You don't have to worry about oncoming traffic. But that only lasts for so long. I don't know the exact number, the seconds he could tell you. But once that turns yellow and then goes to a, a complete green circle, that means traffic coming south is what you're going to have to manage. That's where we have issues. Students have seen, have reported to us, well, I saw the green circle, so I thought I could just turn in here and I would be totally okay. That is the case, but you have to be able to make sure it's safe and that oncoming traffic isn't something that you would have to navigate through, okay? That's the area of focus that we're looking at right now. If you haven't taken time to observe this or experience this, I need you to do that prior to the start of school, all right, before the traffic really picks up. We talked about entering campus. We talked about um, displaying the parking permit. It's important that we proceed immediately to a parking space and that we're not cruising around in the lots. You'll see quickly on day one, wow, there's a lot of people here. I got to find a spot, get parked, get into school. Okay, so we don't have time to be moving around out there trying to find the perfect spot. Uh, make sure you turn off your lights. Make sure you turn off your vehicle. You might laugh about that a little bit, but there are numerous times throughout the school year that we're checking the lots and a car's still running because somebody jumped out real quick and ran into school. Make sure you turn your lights and your car off. Um, you can enter in through the athletic entrance where many of you came in today or through the main entrance at Nash. Um, 715 is a time that we recommend. Right? If you're on campus by 7.15, you can get parked, you can get into the building safely, you can get to your class by 7.23 a.m. Exiting campus. The first bullet point is critical, especially for our returning, well, our, our now seniors. We are in ninth period class until 2.15. When the bell rings, no matter what classroom you're in, that's when it's time to leave. Not at 2.12, not at 2.10, not at 2 o'clock. Okay, 2.15, you're in your room, in your classroom with your teacher, not in the halls, not outside the door, all right? We got, uh, we got a little too lax with this at the end of the school year last year, 2.15, then we're out the door, all right? Let's use the crosswalks. We, once we get traffic flowing, we don't have students running all over the place out in the parking lots. We use the crosswalks to get around because that helps keep all of us safe. We did a really good job of that last year. 
So our two entry points, Nash student drivers, arrival to Nash in the morning. You can enter here at the main entrance like the video that we just watched if you're coming northbound or southbound. What we recommend for any student that knows they're gonna park in the what we call the tennis court lots, if you are traveling southbound, we recommend going past the main entrance because you can enter at the tennis court lots at our southern entrance right here. That You can only enter that way if you're traveling south. You cannot enter here if you're traveling north. I'll, get, I'll show you some more detailed pictures. Something that's really important, this is not just from Officer Yaney, this is from the McCandless Police Department. All right, over the years of Nash student drivers, we've had students realize, oh, this line's getting backed up a little bit. I'm gonna make a quick U-turn on Route 19 in these local businesses, and then I'm gonna scoot in the southern entrance. We cannot do that. We've had accidents in the past when students are making that quick U-turn in the morning because there's so much traffic out there. You are not permitted to make a U-turn as a Nash student driver on 19 in the morning to try and cut through traffic and enter here at the southern entrance. This is only for vehicles, I'm sorry, I clicked way too far ahead. This is only for vehicles traveling southbound, all right, to enter at this place. We already saw this image before. Um, just a point of clarification. We have also in the past, students make the left turn and they get confused about where they go. The left turn into Nash is just past our Nash sign, the big sign that's out front. Okay, you stay to the left of this median. That's why we have the enter here sign. This median around the edges is now painted yellow. You wanna to stay to the left of that median. Yes, we've had students drive over the median. Yes, we've had students drive like over here and I don't know what happened. Guys, right, right past the sign, right here is where we enter, pay attention, you'll be okay. You're laughing, it's happened, I'm serious. Here's your entry at the southern entrance. This person in this car, they are not, it is an illegal left turn. It's not just me saying this, you are legally not permitted to make this left. The only way you can come in the southern entrance is if you're traveling 19 south. Now, you get on camp, this is the main entrance, you proceed onto campus, you, I'm sure you know where I'm talking about. Students must stay to the left. The two lanes traveling left, heading towards like the athletic facilities over this way. This lane here, to go around the back of Nash, that's for all of our parent, guardian, or drop-off in the morning, okay? So we don't need any students driving around the back of Nash. This is for the buses, and this is for parent or guardian drop-off, which we'll discuss later, all right? Stay to the left. We're gonna keep going as if you're driving on campus. New last year, we implemented, you are not permitted to turn here, I would say what we would describe the top of the athletic lot. We're actually gonna proceed all the way down like you're heading towards the barrel center, all right, where those buses are on the top left of the screen. We're gonna proceed all the way down here. This is where we enter the athletic lot. There's your right-hand turn right by the tennis courts. And this image is up here to show you the way this works. No turns at the red X, all right? We don't, that's not where we're turning. This is where staff are gonna park. So our students are gonna come all the way down here and then you're gonna make your way up, per se, the athletic lot and find your spaces. And uh, the easiest way to get into the building is through the athletic entrance. Many of our student athletes park here. Many of our students who have extracurricular clubs and activities park here, all right, because it's close to the building and right in between Nash and the Barrel Center. Students who work off campus, students who are just heading home, students who are not doing something on campus right after school, they like to typically park over here because they get out quick and easy, they don't have to move their vehicle, it's just an easy exit for, for students going off campus. Athletic entrance. All right, let's say you are gonna park in the tennis court lots, like a student I just described. Might need to get to work at a, at a decent time right after school. As you're traveling down uh, the main driveway of Nash and you're not turning in here into the athletics, you continue around the bend. All right, the tennis courts will be right there on your right. And this will be your left turn into what we call the tennis court lots. All right, huge parking lot tons of spaces, all right? Be careful though, because there's a lot of drivers in there um, as you're walking through. Make sure you're paying attention on where the cars are and where the pedestrians are walking, all right? Let's say we're gonna walk from this lot to Nash. That's that green arrow right here. 
Here's a crosswalk on the main driveway. Every single morning, you will see either Officer Yaney in full uniform and a, and a bright yellow vest, or you will see a staff member that's on our um, safety team or myself will manage this crosswalk where we will hold drivers up, we will bring a big wave of students across the sidewalk or across the crosswalk, and then we'll continue the flow of traffic. All right, this is a, a key point, all right, of movement in the mornings. This needs to be managed at all times, okay? There must be an adult there, there will be an adult there to make sure you're crossing safely and you're driving onto campus safely, all right? So proceed with caution once you get to that point. Here's our crosswalk. Like I said, Officer Yaney will stand right in the middle or one of us will be right in the middle there. The speed bump's there to slow everybody down and you can see the signage on campus that that's what that means, crosswalk, all right? Okay, ex we did arrival, pretty simple. Exiting campus. You have two different options, depends on where you're going. You can exit at the main entrance where you could go north or south or you could exit at the southern entrance by the tennis courts where you only have one option, you can only go south. So we'll talk about both of those. If you're leaving the tennis courts, you'll be able to choose, do I wanna to go to the main entrance or do I wanna to go to Route 19 southbound only? That's at your discretion. The best advice I could give is think about your after school plans. Where should I park? It doesn't necessarily need to be the closest to the building, it might be tennis court lot because I gotta get 19 south to get to work. Okay. We talked about our crosswalk being a critical um, point of um, you know, drivers and student walkers. This intersection here is also a critical point. This will be managed by a staff member in the afternoons every day. You can see either Officer Yaney, myself, um, members of our safety and security team managing this intersection where you will be asked to hold for a period of time, a minute or two, to let other traffic go. So when you get to this intersection, let's make sure in the afternoons you're paying attention to the adult in this area who's giving you information with a pot, with a, like hold their hand up, as in stop, or they'll wave you through, all right? Make sure your eyes are up and you're paying attention at that intersection. Exiting campus, we are not permitted to exit Nash by going behind Nash by the, by the baseball field, the softball field, and the multi-purpose field down over the hill. No student drivers in the afternoons are allowed to go behind Nash. I don't know if you know the why, I'll explain the why. We have staff members who park back by the baseball field. That's part of a staff parking lot. They pull in, all right, they pull in forward. So to exit at the end of the day, they have to reverse onto the driveway to be able to then proceed to exit campus. We've had accidents behind Nash where a student is coming on the driveway, a staff member's backing out, they don't see each other, and there's a fender bender. Not good. Could you imagine getting into a fender bender with your English teacher at the end of the day? That would be weird and awkward. We don't want to do that, okay? The way that we don't do that is do not drive behind Nash. There are probably students in this room right now who I have had to confiscate their parking pass because they drove behind Nash multiple times last year, okay? It creates an issue, it creates a safety concern, it also contributes to backing up traffic as we get towards the main entrance for our exit procedures. I wanna be crystal clear on this. At no point during the school year are students permitted to drive behind Nash to leave campus. Are we clear on that? Thank you, appreciate it. Okay, this is your view if you're exiting campus. These two lanes, okay, two lanes to go north, one lane to go south. Please make sure if you guys are, are side by side here, you are both making the left-hand turn to go north, all right, you'll see the, red air, or the green arrows here to sig signify that it's time to go. Make sure you're aware of the vehicle next to you, all right, in both lanes. We've had accidents here in the past where a student forgot or wasn't paying attention that there was a driver right next to them and during the turn they went from the fast lane and transitioned to the slow lane well there was a driver in the slow lane okay make sure you're paying attention there only right turn south to exit at the southern entrance all right nobody is allowed to come up to the stop sign and make a left 
That is illegal. You will be cited with a ticket. All right, we talked about attendance. You as a student driver, we're asking for you to respect the fact that this is a privilege. And if you're respectful of the privilege, then that means you're going to be here on time. All right, you're going to be in your classroom and you're going to be safe. There will be things that come up that you're tardy to school. All right, we know and understand things come up. We're, I'm not saying that we're not going to help you manage that. If you're tardy to school, find an open space. Come into the safety vestibule. All right, we'll be greeted by staff. Make your way to the attendance office. No different than you've done at every school in NA that you've been to. But you are not permitted to just enter the building and go to class. Like, if you're late, you've got to stop in and see the attendance secretary. Make sure you get your pass to class. All right, there's a few more slides and then we'll be finished up. These are just frequently asked questions, things that I get often. I wanted to put a couple of them on here for you to review, all right? If you have questions, I'm gonna give you a minute at the end here to ask anything at all. Late to school, we covered. Minor fender bender that we call it, a minor motor vehicle accident. This is gonna happen. We do everything we can to prevent it, but like I said earlier, things happen, all right? Accidents happen. What's important is that you're safe. Okay, if it's minor, a bump to the bumper, a minor scratch, something that you can manage in the immediate moment and you don't need any type of, um, you know, resources or help or support or anything like that. Okay, move your car to a safe, safe location. You're going to talk to the other student. You're going to exchange information. Officer Yaney, myself or a staff member will be present out in the parking lots to help you with this. Okay. Uh, we also have our students uh, do a quick check-in with the school nurse if anything like this comes up just to proceed with caution just to make sure you guys are safe. But there will be adults present to help you through that. If there is something significant, a major motor vehicle accident out on Route 19 or any on your route on the way to school, um, you know, that's, that's the last thing we ever want to work through or manage, but we are here for you to do that. All right, move to a safe location. Make sure you're safe, the others around you are safe, and call 911. That call will go directly to McCandless Police. Officer Yaney would be notified immediately, and the most, the, the officer who's in the closest proximity to wherever you are in the, in the community or in the township, they will be there to help and assist no matter what's going on. Have we had that before? Yes, unfortunately. Does it happen often? No, not very often. But we have to be able to talk about it, all right, in a mature way to know what we do and wait for police or EMS to arrive. Inclement weather, all that we ask is you leave a little bit early. All right, we know Pittsburgh weather, it can get nasty as early as October here, okay? October, November, December, all the way through inclement weather. Even when it's rainy, people drive super slow. All right, you gotta take that into consideration. All right, give yourself enough time in the morning. Um, this second one is up here, actually not for you guys, but it's for your friends. Anybody who's not driving to school every day, or is not old enough yet. Um, it's really for people not driving to school. If you're not old enough, you can't drive. So somebody who doesn't buy a parking permit but needs to drive for like a doctor's appointment, a dentist appointment, an emergency situation, we have some spots reserved for like a daily driving pass. So if any of your friends are like, ah, I'm not getting a parking pass, but can I drive if I absolutely need to? Yes, in very limited quantities, that's a daily case-by-case -case basis. So if anybody asks about that, you can tell them to come and see me and I can help them with it. Can you move your vehicle to another spot? This comes up for our student athletes. If they're parked far away, can I move to the, uh, closer to the barrel center? Yes, but not until really campus has been cleared, right? Not till the, basically everybody's off campus. You'll see when that occurs, it's about 15 to, it's about 2.30 to 2.40, everybody's off. The lots open up, yes, at that time you can move your car. All right, um, if you have any questions about driving to Nash, I would say the go-to people, Dr. Derda, myself, um, those of you who don't know Mr. Walker, uh, he's gonna be a lead teacher working with us this year, or Officer Yaney, okay? That's a good place to start. If you can't find us right away, you can ask any teacher, any staff member, we review this stuff with them as well. All right, it's more important that you ask a question if you have one, than you leave and be uncertain and make a decision that isn't aligned with the expectations. All right, we have policies on here for you to review if you need to. Everything that we've created is in alignment with our school district expectations, with our school board, 
This has been vetted through the upper administrative team, all right? And again, these little reminders, this common sense type approach is meant to help keep you safe. I wanna conclude with what we started with, why we are here, because we care about you, because we want you to be safe, because we want you to have the opportunity to come to Nash every day and absolutely love everything about being here. We want you to have the opportunity to come here and prepare for what your next steps are in your life journey. If we take safety, driving, security for granted, the stuff that I just talked about comes in jeopardy. We need all of us to be on the same page. What does it mean to be a Nash student? It means to be all in on a topic like this, safe driving. Because if one of us isn't following through, all of us are in jeopardy. So we gotta hold each other accountable, we gotta be supportive of each other, we have to be patient with each other, we have to be respectful of each other. What is that? That's deep love and care. What is that? That's striving to be great in knowing that this whole organization is bigger than the individual you trying to get to work after school. All right? We'll get you where you need to go. Your patience matters. Your respect matters. And I'm so excited to share this with you guys, especially our juniors. This is who we are. All right? You're going to feel it the minute you walk in this school on the first day. We live it. We breathe it. This is who we are at NASH. Your attention today has been absolutely first class. Your first impression for our juniors, phenomenal. Seniors, you're already setting the tone for what you want your senior year to look like. Dr. Durder, what do you think? Pretty awesome. Fired up, fired up, fired up, big time. Let me explain our next steps, okay? All of you that are here today, when I checked at like 8.30, 8.35, um, everybody that submitted a registration form online did it successfully, did it accurately, did it correctly. Everyone had all the information that I needed. So I don't have any outstanding questions for individuals on that process, okay? But before I go through anything further, are there any questions from you guys this morning for me about anything that I covered Anything that you're wondering, anything that you want to know focused on student driving or parking or the process. Are you sure? If there are, come and see me. I'll be out there this morning. Send me an email, all right? Stop at Nash if you're cruising through campus for whatever reason the rest of the summer. Come and see me or ask the question, okay? We'll get it taken care of. Hang on, I got to finish. Wait, 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 I'm almost done. Hang on. So when we leave here, we're going to informally, there's nothing, there's not, we're not telling you exactly how to do it. We'll have three lines out in the cafeteria. So we need you, it doesn't matter what line you're in, they're all going to result in the same thing, to make three lines, all right, across the entryway. There'll be a table set up out there, okay? There'll be six adults. It doesn't matter which group of adults you meet with. When you get up to the table, you need to share your name because then we're going to go to a, a Google Sheet. We're going to control F. We're going to find your name. All right. We'll see when you registered. We have all your information. We'll collect your check, $100, made payable to North Allegheny Senior High School, and then we'll give you your tag. Each person, it should take 30 seconds or less. So if you're not the first in line, if you're somewhere in the middle or the back, you will go through this process pretty quickly. We just need your patience. We should all be out of here in about 30 minutes. All right? You guys can start to formulate those lines out back. Thank you. <laughs>